fantastic Yorker. That's more like the McGraw we know. That's got him motivated all right. The end for Trescothic. Clean bowl for 16. England 39 for one in the seventh over. Finally got it right. The ball swinging into the left-hander. That's what he had been trying to produce all morning or all afternoon. There is a swing full in length. Once it's in line with those toes, the batsman has to think about getting the feet out of the way first. And that creates problems. Doesn't have enough time to do both. Get the feet out of the way and get the bat down in line with the ball. That's a good wicket. It's 39 for one. Bowled him! Clean bowled him! Glenn McGraw gets it right up there. The stumps are down. That was a Yorker. It may even have been dragged back onto the stumps. Boy, he's so effective. High quality stuff. We've seen such variations in the first over. No warming up for Glenn McGraw. He's given us a variety of uh, bowling here with the new ball. The Yorker just played the wrong line. Similar to an extent to the way Langer got out or Matthew Hayden. I can't say the batsman here at the Sydney Cricket Ground struggling against the full-length deliveries. Graham Smith gone. Worst start possible for uh, World Eleven. So one wicket down with no score on the board. Let's have another look at uh, Glenn McGrath's first over. Look at this. First ball beats the outside edge. The second ball bounces and... Uh, third one on target the fourth one straight as well and then that one then corrects that line to the right hander have a look at his pitch map and here you'll see the line is quite consistent but there's a lot of variation in the length that Yorker was quicker and look at the variation in length and the last ball that you see there in green is to the right hander Pace, just playing the wrong line. It's a batsman, you've got to have it at the back of your mind. There could be a Yorker coming anytime. If you're not prepared for it, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> 